I'll be completely honest with you, bro. I'm 22 years old. I'm an entrepreneur. I've gone from minus money in the bank account to literally more money than I can even count slash know what to do with. And even now to this day, as I sit here right now in this present moment and talk to you, as you hear these words on your screen, I still feel like giving up. It's so weird. It's so weird because I am literally from an outside perspective on such an upward spiral, such a positive trajectory. You know what's funny is I actually deleted about 600 plus videos before this channel that you see in front of you here. It was on the same channel, but I had 600 videos before. Some of you guys will remember this and I deleted all of them and then I had to start all over again. And now this new 800 videos that you see on this channel are all completely after that deletion phase. Now, why did I do that? Because at the time, and I was doing really well, I was absolutely popping off. If I kept those videos, if I kept riding that momentum and I didn't cut it dead, I would have been on easy fucking 500K subs by now, right? That's how quickly I was growing. It was like literally a thousand subs every fucking hour or some bullshit, bro. I was, remember I was at work and I kept refreshing it. Bam, 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 500 subs, 300 subs, 200 subs, constantly, bro, every like 10 minutes, absolutely popping off. That is how I built the majority of my following was from that little phase, right? One of my social skills videos popped off out of nowhere. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, but it's weird because you get a bit of imposter syndrome and you also get a bit of fear. Like it just hits you out of nowhere. One thing could go wrong or one thing could go slightly against the way you want it to go. And you'll start to beat yourself up. You'll start to think of the worst case scenario. It's so funny, but also annoying how the mind works, isn't it, bro? Well, I'm sure you can relate to this. Maybe you're an entrepreneur yourself. Maybe you're trying to build a YouTube channel yourself. Maybe you're trying to get, I don't know, that girl you've always been really obsessed with and you know things are starting to go well a little bit, but you still get this imposter syndrome and feel like, nah, I couldn't do that. It's so weird. I've literally made it. Like by pure metric measurable, you know, success, I can sit around in this apartment that I bought up front in advance for £8,000 plus deposit you know, six months rent in advance. And I'm sat here with endless abundance of everything that I want. I'm able, I'm able to take care of the people that I love and take care of myself. I never have to worry about money. I don't even look at the price of things when I spend money. And this is coming from someone, I'm, I'm humble in this aspect. I'm wearing a three pound watch from Thailand, bro. It cost me three pounds. I don't give a shit. I'm not material in any, in any aspect. I like those things, of course. I like the new clothes and new shoes and new watches. I love it, but it doesn't, it's not the be all end all for me, but even with all of these measurable successes, I still sit here and feel like giving up every now and then. I still have to battle that, you know, that tug of war you get in your brain where you're like, ah, oh, yeah, but maybe I'm just not going to make it, you know, maybe everything will go wrong. Maybe I'll just fail. I don't know where it comes from, but I actually don't. I'm not going to come on the camera and try and be like all these other self-improvement YouTubers that, that try and pretend they have everything figured out because I absolutely don't. I just teach you what I know and I teach you what I have learned through personal experience, right? Every bit of advice you've seen me talk about on the internet that has literally saved young men's lives, helped them make shit tons of money in literally days, like a couple of days, bro. They've gone from broke to seven grand in a week. Like I've literally saved young men's lives. So the advice that I give, you know for a fact it's coming from the heart. You know for a fact that I've experienced it personally. I never read from a script. I never really even have a structure. Right now I'm just freestyling to you, bro. There's no, there's no structure to this. It's literally from the heart, man, you know? So I'm sat here. And just before I was going to go on like a recording spree and just record loads of YouTube videos in a row, I don't know, I felt this wave of demotivation rush over me. Let's have a little hydration break, mate. It's gonna be a little late night chat. Oh, water is the best thing when you haven't had it in a while. Fucking hell. Bro, deprive yourself of water for like the whole day and then just down loads in one go. It is the best feeling on earth. So I just get this wave of demotivation and I'm just, I don't even know why, bro. It's weird because you'll have one thing that maybe doesn't go the way you want it to go. Like, for example, I run a, a paid community, right? It's a school community. You can check it out in the link down below. And I basically teach young men how to make money, how to get women, how to master their sex lives, how to be in good shape and, you know, detox from certain things. And, and basically just how to have a positive and healthy mindset that is geared and brainwashed in a way that makes sure they only ever win at life. That's basically what I teach, right? Because you guys have seen me in real time go from broke 
too wealthy, if you want to call it that. Whatever, rich, wealthy, I don't care what you want to call it. But, you know, just making money. I never really have to worry about money ever again, which is nice. And you guys have seen that. So clearly my mindset is geared in a winner's mentality. I've got everything I ever wanted, everything I ever put my mind to, I achieve it. So clearly that's a mindset of a winner. So I teach young men how to do the same thing, right? And in this paid community, obviously it's a monthly fee. So you can join and you pay a monthly fee, you get all the information and you, you stay on for the next month if you want or you can cancel, it's completely up to you. And every now and then, obviously, the natural cause of life is that things fluctuate. Nothing is ever just gonna be like this forever in life. It's never gonna be baseline. And I'm aware of that. I'm not ignorant to that fact. Money comes and goes, relationships, you know, a positive and then the negative, your mindset's positive and negative, people leave your business, people come to the business, like, that's how life works and that's not what shocks me. But it's like, today, for example, I had a member leave the, uh, the school community, he cancelled, and you know, I went through the whole process of asking him, like, why did you cancel, what was the, the thought process behind it, I'd be interested just to hear your opinion. And he was like, yeah, I just feel like I've, I've got what I needed out of it. And, you know, because he was looking for one thing in particular, which was the like sexual mastery side of things, right? Quitting porn. And he successfully did that within his first two days. And then he decided to cancel. And I was like, okay, that's not a problem. Of course, if you've come what you've, if you've got what you've come for, like, I'm not going to force it onto you and be like, well, actually, maybe you should try Forex trading. Like, bro, just, you know, get out, do what you want. So, but with that being said, yeah, it's weird because logically, I completely understand that. Not a problem. Like, I'm not going to force something down your throat if that's not what you're looking for. That is just a waste of everyone's time, right? It's like, you know, them door-to-door -door salesmen that come to your door and they try and force, a, like, some fucking water pipe system. I don't, I don't give a shit. If I wanted that, I'd come and look for it. I'd buy it myself. Do you know? So I don't want to be one of them. But point being, even with that being said, I felt this, like, uh, you know, like this, my business is going down the drain. Like, bro, one guy left. It's <laughs> not the end of the world. But it's, it's weird how your mind really over-exaggerates literally everything. Like, I'll make one mistake. I don't know if this is just me. Please comment down below and let me know if you can relate to this. Because I don't know if it's just me and I'm just going crazy, bro. But I don't know. I think I'm such a high achiever and I have such high standards for myself that if one thing goes even slightly wrong, like to, to 0 0.00001% wrong, I'll beat myself up about it and I'll feel like it's all going wrong. And to some degree, that's good because it stops me from getting complacent and it makes sure that I'm always a professional at everything that I do. I'm always on my shit, making sure that I'm keeping the momentum high. But at the same time, it's like, bro, I just feel like giving up all the time because one thing goes wrong and it's like, oh, well, maybe I'm not meant for it. And it's, <laughs> it's crazy how the mind works, but I was reflecting on what we can do to combat this because I think it's natural and I think... The more you push yourself out of your comfort zone, naturally, the more that you're going to fail because you're entering unknown territory. You're entering a territory which previously you had no experience in. So you're naturally going to take the wrong path in that territory sometimes and fail. You're going to do the wrong thing. That's normal. That's how you learn. It's like if I was learning to ride a bike for the first time and that was unknown territory for me, I'm naturally going to fail. That doesn't mean that I should give up riding the bike or I should never do it ever again because I fell off once. You just got to learn. So naturally, when things go wrong in your personal life or your business or your financial world or whatever, you got to just take it as a lesson. It sounds cliche, so I want to get a little bit more in depth to what that actually means rather than just say, learn from it, bro, because everyone says that. What does that actually mean? So whenever I feel like I want to give up, and I'm literally talking from the heart because I feel like it right now, and it's weird because my YouTube is popping off. I've nearly hit 20K subscribers. The videos are doing very, very well. I'm getting loads of school sales. Like I'm getting sales in the school, but I'm still reflecting and dwelling on the one guy that left, for example. Do you know how like, stupid, bro? The fucking mind is your worst enemy. You have to learn to control it. This is why training your brain is just as important as training your body. So what I like to do when I get in these phases of demotivation, almost sadness is the best way I can explain it, bro. I don't know what it is. It's like I was laid there with my girl just then. And, and mate, if you've got a girl that you're in a loving, healthy, committed relationship, it's the best feeling in the world, bro. Like, she makes everything okay. Now, I don't talk about my problems openly. Honestly, I talk to you guys more than I talk to anyone about my problems. But that's more so because I can teach you a lesson from these problems. But I was laying with my girlfriend. I was laying on top of her, of her chest. And I was thinking to myself, like, I just felt this wave of sadness come over me. Like, not emotional. I wasn't, I didn't show anything in that regard. But I felt it, you know. And I was like, why? Where's that coming from? And I started to self-reflect and yeah, it's like, I've had this moment so many times before. I told you guys about when I deleted the past videos. It was because I was like, oh, maybe I'm not crowd for this. Maybe I should just give up. It's, it's so stupid though, bro, because in, in logistic standards, I'm doing well. Why would, I, why would I quit 
when I'm doing well? Why would I quit at all? If this is what I want, why would I give up? Why? Because it's difficult? Because things aren't going as perfectly as I want them to go? That doesn't mean I should necessarily give up, right? I'm sure we can both agree on that. And I want you to take that same mindset. So there's three things I like to do when I get into this mode of demotivation and almost sadness and feeling like I need to give up and feeling like, oh, what if it all goes wrong? First of all, understand, because that's where usually this demotivation comes from. It's coming from you thinking that everything might go wrong. So what I'm going to do is just quit while I'm ahead and I don't have to experience everything going wrong. That's technically the mindset you're leading with, right? Because, for example, if one guy leaves my school and I, and I feel demotivated and like, oh, what's the point? It's all shit. It's all going wrong. And I start focusing on all the negatives in my life. It starts to feel like everything keeps going wrong. That's not the case. It's just I'm focusing. I'm looking out for things that are going wrong or not as good as they could be. So I'm fueling that demotivation for myself. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's one part of it. But number two is that you're also predicting the worst case scenario just because one negative thing has happened. So one guy leaves my school and subconsciously I'll be like, well, if one guy could leave, that means all of them could leave. And that's one income stream down. I've got multiple different ones. So again, it's just stupid because even if that went down, I wouldn't be broke. I'd probably never be broke ever again for the rest of my life just because of what I know up here. It just wouldn't happen, right? The network I've got, the people I know, the systems I've got in place, I will actually logistically, logically never go broke ever again. But I'm still scared. I'll be completely real with you, bro. I'm still scared. Like it's still, it's still, it's still a fear of mine. It's still something that gets into my brain and demotivates me and ruins my flow sometimes. I'm just, I mean, I was, I'm going to give you some tips now on, on what I like to do. And I'll, I'll see how satisfied that makes me feel at the end of this video. Cause I'm feeling like that as I speak to you. So we can do a, a nice little brainstorming exercise here to really see if this advice will work. Cause you guys know, I like to practice what I preach and you've seen me in real time achieve success with the advice that I give you. So let's do it again. Let's do it again in real time. You know you can trust me. You know that my words lead you somewhere. You've got that assurance in me because I've just proven it in real time. Like no one else has done this. So let me just fucking show you again. Number one is reflect on past success. So when you're feeling like this, when you feel like giving up, just remind yourself of who you are because a lot of the time it's because we're tapping into this low vibrational state that we feel like, oh, I'm just not... I'm not good enough. I'm not the person that's capable of pulling this off. I'm just, I'm just not that guy. But you need to remind yourself, you are that guy. Look at everything you've already achieved in your life. Look at everything you've been through. Every single bad day you've survived. You've survived literally 100% of the bad days you've been through. Every other time in your life that was negative, you've survived all of it. Because you're still here. You're breathing. You're listening to this video. You're cracking on. And as long as you're still alive, you're still in the game. You can still mold and change reality to your will. Yeah? So... That's number one, is just reflect on the things you've already achieved. Remind yourself of who you are. Hold yourself of good posture. Little things like this really do make a difference, right? Sit up straight. Nah, I'm not feeding into that low vibration. I'm not that guy. I'm not that, that victim that just gives up. No, I like, I welcome pain. I welcome discomfort. I welcome things going wrong. I welcome problems. I welcome and embrace all of this because number one, it's a part of life and there is no light without dark. But number two, it's fun, it's exciting, it challenges me, it makes me and it, and it tests me to see if I'm really about what I say that I'm about. I cannot come on the camera and tell you guys, here's how to get rich, here's how to get all the women in the world, here's how to do this, here's how to do that, and then not be tested to see if I'm really that guy, yeah? So welcome the challenge. It's making you strong, it's making you confident that you are the man you say you are. And also, yeah, just remind yourself of everything you've done. Literally just sit and visualize. Meditate before you go to sleep. Go to the gym, go to the sauna, go and chill on your beautiful rooftop terrace. <laughs> I can say these things now, right? Because I've, I've done that. But what I used to do was go on little walks at nighttime. So I had a nature park like this. Bro, it's so blessed to have this. And I don't know why this was right next to the council estate that I used to live on. So I used to live with my parents, my mum, my stepdad and, and my siblings, right? My baby sister, my two little brothers. And I was on this council estate. It was very rough and people were just fucking always getting arrested and just doing stupid shit, like shooting fireworks out of cars and stuff like that. Crazy place. But right next door, literally 12 seconds away from my house, I could walk around the corner and there was this massive park. You guys can see it in my older videos where I would come and just record videos. I'd come and chill and sit in the sun. And this was when I was broke and had holes in, in my shoes and holes in my socks and no clothes. And, you know, I had to rob bright bikes and stuff like that. So I still at that time used 
just nature, fresh air, going for a walk, clearing my mind. I used all of this to reset and remind myself of who I was because it was a lot harder for me back then having no experience of financial success and every, every, you know YouTube success, everything else that I was aiming for, to believe in myself to be able to pull it off and I still did it. So that right there is a perfect memory to, for me to think back to. Look, I've achieved all of this when I had no idea what I was doing. I was just trying to flow through life and figure things out and I still achieved success. I still got to the point where I was able to buy myself an apartment up front. I still got to the point where, you know, money is never an issue. I used to dream of this. I literally used to visualize the, li the life I'm living right now with the money I've got in my bank account, I used to visualize that money when I had no money. So that's a reminder, it's like a cookie jar. I can pull the cookie out and remind myself of what I've achieved. That instantly gets me back into this high vibration of like, yeah, I'm the fucking man. I always pull it off. What the fuck am I scared of? That brings me on to point two, is that everything is temporary, but not only that, you'll always be fine. You'll just always be okay. Because <laughs> like, bro, you always are. Look at everything you've already gone through. You're always, you'll just find a way, bro. You always pull it off. You know, whether it's the way you expected it to go, doesn't really matter. You'll always be okay in the end. You might go through some shit. You might go through some negativity. You might get traumatized a little bit, bro. I don't know what life's gonna throw at you. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I have all the answers. But from what I do know is that you'll always be okay. Because there's two things about life, right? And this will really give you some hope. If you've watched this far into the video and you're still listening to me right now, first of all, you're a fucking G and I mean that. Honestly, well done. There's not many people like you. There's not many people that have the attention span to listen to me for 16 minutes and 40 seconds without clicking off. So fucking well done. And secondly, I want you to comment the word rapid down below so I can see, I'm paying attention, but I reward my subscribers. I wanna see who the real ones are. I'll be paying attention. So there's two things in life that you need to understand that can happen to you. Either you adapt or you die. That's literally it, it's so simple. And this is why I never, well, obviously I'm, I would be lying if I said I never worried, but I'm easily able to combat fear and worry and this like uncertain mindset of, oh, what if things go wrong? Because there's only two options. Either the worst, worst, worst case scenario is somehow I die. And if that happens, I'll never know anything about it anyway, because I'll be dead. So why am I worried about dying? Because as soon as I die, it's over. Like the video game's over, I've completed it, like it's game over, right? So why would I worry about something that I won't even know is happening? That's number one. But the other side of the spectrum, the only other thing that can happen to you if you don't die is that you adapt to things. Every possible worst case scenario that you can think of, you will adapt to it. Because if you don't adapt to it, you'll die, right? Simple. If you get your legs, your legs cut off, God forbid, and you're now paralyzed and you have no limbs, you'll adapt. You'll get used to it. There is a scientific term called hedonic adaptation. Now, hedonic adaptation usually refers to vices like alcohol, sex, drugs, um, pornography, video games, like anything that gives you an unrealistic surge of dopamine in your mind, you hedonically adapt to it. Okay, so hedonism basically refers to, you know, the, ch the pursuit of pleasure, something to do with pleasure, right? I don't know the exact definition, but it just revolves around pleasure and chasing pleasurable actions. Now, when the more that you do these pleasurable actions, the more that you are exposed to an experience, the more your mind and body and nervous system adapts to it. Do you understand? So the more you drink alcohol, the more you build up tolerance, the more you can drink next time, right? Without getting drunk or as drunk, yeah? It's the same with anything in life. You get your legs cut off, you'll adapt to it. You'll, it'll be weird at first and it'll be scary at first and you'll have all these weird cocktail of emotions, but before you know it, you will be used to it and that will just be how your life is. You're just a guy with no legs now, like you'll get used to it. You know, if you go broke and your business fails, so the thing that I'm scared of, you know, if my school community fails and then for whatever reason, all of my other income streams fail and I have literally no way of making money, I have to go back to the nine to five world. That's what I'm scared of, that scares me. Even if that happens, which is so unlikely, almost impossible, but even if it did, I'll adapt to it. I'll take it as a new experience. I'll take it as a new perspective, a new lesson, a new mission to go on in this video game of life. I will adapt to it. It'll become my new normal for a little bit until I evolve to the next level and go through the next experience. So regardless of what happens to you, everything is temporary. So you may as well just fucking enjoy all of it, right? Because it's all going to end anyway. The, the bad shit you're going through right now is going to end. So you may as well enjoy it. You know, take the new perspectives that it gives you and enjoy it. The good shit you're going through is going to end. So be grateful for it. Appreciate it. Sit with it and be present. You know, don't allow it to pass you by quicker than it needs to be. And uh, yeah, just fucking flow through life, man. And in regards to, obviously, you feeling like you want to give up, 
Just really keep that in mind. Why would you give up? Like, honestly, think about it logically, right? You're trying to start a YouTube channel, you're trying to build this business and then you feel demotivated and you feel like, oh, maybe I should just give up. But it's like, then you're actually just confirming the thing that you're scared of. You're scared of your business not doing well. That's why you feel like you should give up because maybe I'm not cut out for it. Maybe I won't be able to do it. So that's why you feel like giving up. But then if you give up, you're just doing the thing that you're scared of. Like the only way you're ever going to get around the thing that you're scared of that's causing the demotivation in the first place is if you keep going. So why would you give up? It doesn't really make any sense, you know? <laughs> like if I'm scared of my, my school community failing and everyone leaving and me making no money from it, then if I give up and delete the school community while I'm ahead, just because I felt a certain emotion, which emotions are fickle anyway, you know, I'll literally probably in an hour feel completely different. So why would I base my actions on my emotions, right? But if I do that, then I'm just accelerating the thing that I'm scared of and I'm making it come a reality. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's so weird, bro. Any thought that you get, you will literally can manifest it into reality if you feed into it enough. If I feed into those thoughts of fear and, you know, demotivation, I'm actually manifesting the reality that I'm scared of because I'm thinking about it. So then I'll decide to give up so I don't have to experience it in natural reality because this way I feel a little bit better because, oh, at least I, I did it. I was in control of it going wrong. It didn't go wrong because I gave up. It was in my control. I ended it before it all went wrong, so it's okay. But why? Just try. You may as well just try your absolute best. And when you try your absolute best, ironically, nothing really goes wrong. <laughs> like the thing that you're scared of doesn't even happen because you've tried so hard. Like you've given everything every single day, all of your energy to make sure it doesn't happen. But it won't happen. That's the beauty of life. If you just never give up, it is impossible to fail. So you can move forward with optimism and hope knowing that that is a fact. Because you're in control. You're in control. It's only, it's only going to go bad if you let it go bad. If you just never give up and never stop fighting, no matter how you feel, you really just almost turn your brain off to emotions and you use it as fuel instead. Every time now I feel scared of something going wrong or I get into these demotivated periods, I know that's when I have to ramp things up even more. So when I feel tired and I can't be bothered and I want to give up and I may as well just stop doing YouTube and try some image or try dropshipping instead. Maybe I should just go full time with some other businesses that I can't talk about on YouTube, right? Maybe I should just do this, do that. But it's like, why? <laughs> like, why? It's just so stupid, bro, because one minute I'll feel like that and then the next minute I won't. So it's best just to not listen to your emotions. So when I get into that mode, I know that, right, I'm feeling demotivated and tired. So that's exactly when I need to ramp things up and give more energy than I normally would. Even though I'm tired, I'm doing the opposite of what I would be doing if I was tired, right? Because you think, oh, I'm tired, I'm demotivated, I should stop. But instead, if you ramp things up, you're going to offset the tiredness and you're going to just turn it around into motivation, into fuel, into energy. Before you know it, you'll be back into a good flow again, okay? And the final point is just remain present in the moment because if you're remaining present in the moment, things are a lot less bad. Because usually when you get stuck in your head, fuck me, bro, I'm sat with like some dodgy posture right now. I'm trying to talk to you at this angle. Let me chill back a little bit. So if you remain present ugh, in the moment, then all the things that you're scared of happening in the future have not happened to you yet. So you can kind of eliminate a lot of fear by just being present in the moment and not thinking about the future because you're here in the moment. It's like, okay, I'm scared of my school community failing, but in, if I remain present in this moment, it hasn't failed yet. So it's okay. Why would I be scared? Because I'm looking at it and it hasn't failed. Do you know? So presence is actually a superpower, number one. But also focusing on small wins to rebuild positive momentum is also an amazing thing that you can do. Because if you're in this demotivated state, fuck me, I need a haircut. If you're in this demotivated state, you're going to be like, oh, I can't be bothered doing anything. Like, I just can't be bothered doing anything. Nothing's worth it anymore. What's the point, right? But if you start to slowly build positive momentum and remind yourself of who you are by simply getting those small wins in, doing 10 push-ups, going to the gym, right? Even though you can't be asked, it's the last thing you want to do. Cardio, right? Do all the things you don't want to do. Do all the things that are hard and difficult because this is going to do two things. It's going to start to build momentum and it's also going to start to remind you of how capable and how good you are at what it is that you do. So you're going to think, why the fuck would I ever, ever give up? When I feel like giving up, I look through my old videos and 
I look at how amazing my advice is. And this sounds arrogant, like I'm just tooting my own horn, but it is. My advice is so fucking good. I've literally heard this from not only myself, because I look at it and think, wow, that guy, that guy knows what he's talking about. But I hear it from other people, right? Guys have sent me emails saying, listen, Luke, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have killed myself. So that's quite, you know, good for the ego. That's a nice boost. And I thought, right, yeah, why would I ever even consider giving up? I'm too good at this to go and do something else. Why? I'm literally the best in this space. I need to make this work because I'm so good. The people need to hear my message, you know? So that's another thing you can do. Focus on the small wins, rebuild that momentum slowly but surely. Before you know it, you'll be good to go. All right, listen, man, there is a school community down below if you are interested in networking with guys that are just like you and you're sick of being surrounded by the nerds around you and you kind of feel in your heart that you're just better than everyone else. As arrogant as that sounds, I'm sure you can admit it, you're, right. you're not like everyone else. You're better than everyone else. You know that. And if you want to not only surround yourself with people that are the same as you, that are on the same path as you, that have the same mindset as you, that have the same sense of humor, they don't get offended by stupid fucking things, right? And you want to surround yourself with people like that rather than the fucking nerds that you see every single day. And you also want to learn things. You want to constantly progress and educate. There is nothing wrong with that. That is one of the most wise and intelligent decisions you can make. I learn every single day, even at this level right now at 22 years old with everything that I want, I'm still learning every single day because that is how you grow. So if you want to learn from someone that's done it at a young age, you don't want to learn from someone that's 40 years old trying to teach you. That's outdated. You want to learn from someone that clearly knows what he's talking about and that can clearly get you results quickly. I'm 22 and I've achieved what I've achieved within nine months from when I was broke to now, nine months it took me. That's quick, that's fast. None of this five year plan bullshit. You want, it, you want it now, bro. You want to start seeing results almost immediately. You can join my school in the bio and in the comment section, and we will teach you how to do that. Alternatively, if you prefer a more personalized action plan, you can also click the one-to-one. -one. It's the top link on my link tree, the one-to-one -one introduction call. It's completely free, 30 minutes with me. We can talk about your problems, talk about your goals, and what the obstacle is in the middle that's stopping you from getting there. And uh, we'll sort you out. One-to-one -one personalized action plan. I will see you there, my friend. Look after yourself. Let's fucking go.